Howdy mates, how are we doing? Here's a part three. This is just gonna probably be a shorter one. But noticeably along this uh, entire trail here, we're seeing a decent group. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. There you go. one has got its mouth open. So they're probably using their open mouth as a means of basking, warming up, more or less. Because you gotta figure all alligators are ectothermic, so they're cold-blooded. They have to use the ambient temperature to basically warm themselves up. If you look carefully, you can see like how scaly their back appears. What you're seeing is known as osteoderms. They're basically these plate-like bones that are porous and allow blood to circulate so that in essence while they're basking their blood and metabolism has a chance to warm up a bit and for a day like today it's absolutely wonderful for them to do this but you can see that they are situated along these little tree islands which are actually very crucial in South Florida given how periodic the flooding can be in so much varying water level. So you could say using those tree islands as a bit of a, a little bit of a nursery, just a spot for them to uh, basically rest and take it easy. But they are a true apex predator. There is no other organism in the food web that feeds on them except us or of course when they're dead otherwise no one even bothers but this they're just a, an amazing symbol for the state of Florida got another one that's down in the water but yeah I tell you what I've never seen like so many in one setting before or at least not recently and you figure too this park there used to be a railroad that came through here and so much of what we're standing on was once railroad berms where the railroad would be situated above ground and so that's how we have essentially these separate types of paths. Give me just a second. But you can see that, you know, we are mostly situated around swamp. So to my left, we're actually seeing a bit of that uh, coastal plain willow that I've talked about before. You see some of those white... Uh, those white feather looking objects, well those are the seeds. So we are nearly reaching the time of year where they will start to uh, reproduce. And most of their pollination is, excuse me, in the form of wind dispersal. Yeah, you can definitely see that it is a little overgrown out here. It's not maintained too often. And frankly, I don't really mind it because it just really provides that natural feel to the place. It makes it feel a little more wild. So, okay. I just thought I'd point that out to you guys. That was, uh... A neat little encounter while going on this trail so it is indeed true what other people have said that this is one of the paths in which you're going to see a bunch of alligators just either on the trail or pretty close to it so alrighty take care you guys enjoy your Sunday journey on a journey is onwards. Take care, folks. See ya.